So you want to make a fidget mat. At the Camo Quilt Project, we recently started making fidget mats for dementia patients at nursing homes and those receiving home care. Since we began the project in the summer of 2017, we have not been able to keep up with the demand. This video has been put together to give you some ideas about what to put on your fidget mats. Basically, there are three types of features action features, texture features, and decor features. Action features are things that can be moved or that make noise. Here are several ideas. Look at your button box or your notion spin or even your junk drawer. Pretty soon everything seems like it could go on a fidget mat. Snaps, Velcro, beads, shoelaces, ribbon, frogs, the ones you find at the fabric store, that is, zippers, and buttons. Put a button or two under a piece of mesh fabric to make a button trap. Large, flat buttons work best for this. Using button sections from discarded clothing also makes an easy way to add buttons to your mat. Small toys or cutout shapes that are sewn together and stuffed can make nice action features too, especially if there's a pocket or pouch to put them in. You can make flaps that cover appliques or other surprises. Or you could put a piece of crinkly plastic bag inside a flap for something that will make noise. Heavy duty clear plastic can be used to make a pocket for a photo. There are lots of action ideas for the fidget mats and you find them just about everywhere. Texture features are pretty self-explanatory. Think rough, smooth, silky, furry, bumpy, soft and squishy. Use mesh fabrics of various weaves. Add extra batting or fiber fill under a piece of flannel or fleece to make it even softer. Make loops of satin or grosgrain ribbon. Attach various size scraps of fake fur, suede, velvet, fleece, corduroy, flannel, brocade, upholstery fabric, or vinyl. Make prairie points out of satiny, silky fabrics. Add lace doilies, fringe, or beads to the mat. Use a lightweight fabric folded into large pleats to make any fabric a texture feature. Don't forget that everything you put on the mat must be securely attached. Decor features are anything that makes the mat interesting to look at. Buttons, appliques, bits of ribbon or trim, rickrack, prairie points, or clusters of beads. If you know the recipient of the mat, you could add something related to their life their favorite animal or sports team or their favorite pastime. Safety is always a big concern. You can use wired ribbon as long as you remove the wire first. Everything must be securely attached and everything should be washable. Mats can range in size from 10 inches square to up to 18 by 22. Your mat can be beautiful and color coordinated or not. The ones that are a mix of jumble colors are just as engaging to the recipients. Be sure to watch our other video, So You Want to Make a Fidget Mat, Part 1. For more information on the Camo Quilt Project, check out our Facebook page. And if you have questions, you can send us a message there. On behalf of everyone at the Camel Quilt Project in Plymouth, thanks for watching.